What's up guys, welcome back to the Remote Recycle Workshop. We're going to be doing something a little different today. Get rid of the Michael Jackson leak. Going to be doing something a little different today. We, um, I've been cleaning this place all day and it, it looks like a complete shit tip. So I was sick and tired of how bad it looked in the last video. So I, I spent most of the day cleaning the garage. But one thing I need to do and one of the jobs I need to finish is these camshaft lamps that... Um, I need this juice, magic, magic goose juice. I've been making some camshaft lamps. Um, I like making shit uh, in my spare time when I'm not doing stuff with motorbikes. So, one of which was a, a camshaft lamp. It, it, it's fairly easy, uh, I think, looking at it. So, when a friend was breaking, a couple of friends of mine were breaking a, a Golf GTI. Don't worry, not a Mark 1, not a Mark 2, it was a Mark 4, the ugly shit blobby one. They were, they were breaking that and, and they, they broke the engine down but the, the camshafts, no one, no one bought them and they were going to go to scrap so they gave them to me instead. So got, also got given some pulleys um, along with that so I thought brilliant, I'm going to make a couple of lamps with these. So uh, The lamps themselves, you pick this project up at a point that I've already welded on. Uh, the base. So ideally, yes, it would have been nice to have two of the exact same base, but you just you just got to work with what you've got. So I've welded these on. Uh, good lord, this is heavy. I've just take welded these on. Um, I think they were hardened steel or something. They were they were a bit of a pain to to, to weld, but anyway, they're they're on now and they're they're in place. So what I'm going to do today is just talk you through how I'm going to finish the lamps. Um, one of the things I've got is these little lamp building kits. Um, and I need to get the side entry ones um, because that's what allows me to... I, I, so the camshaft, so this will go on top, Christ I'm all over the place, this will go on top, obviously lamp will go on top and that's fine, here they are, they're done. Um, this is probably a bit long, I would just quite like to see this directly on the top, um, just like that, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not. And similarly, it's meant to just be a quick project to throw together so I can get some new bedside lamps. Um, side note, hilariously, you see some of these are finished. People charge an absolute fortune for them. Uh, I've seen people try to charge a couple hundred quid for, for a, a set of lamps. but Each to their own. I'm not going to be doing that. They're going to be on my bedside table, but whatever. Um, I've got these. Um, I'll put a little link to, below. These are side entry lamp holders pretty much. The kits came with uh, some cable as well. The cable's already got the, the wee switch inside it. So I need to make these fit. Um, this thread on the bottom is an M10 thread, but it's not an M10 fine. So an M10 is like 1.5 I think, or 1.75, a fine M10 fine is a 1.25 thread pitch. Uh, so I got some of them and they didn't work. But uh, I did a bit more reading and they, what they need is an M10 1.0, 1, 1 just an M10 by 1 uh, thread pitch. So it's quite a, th a fine thread, quite difficult to get hold of, but I managed to get hold of a couple of bolts on eBay. So what I need to do is take those bolts and weld it into the top here on each and then make sure that it's nice and secure so I can then thread this on the top. So right now I've got these bolts and this is, I'm not sure whether I've, so this is a nice solution, tasty solution of hot, um, citric acid and water and that's what's used, you can use that to take the galvanised coating off uh, steel bolts and it just makes them a little bit easier to weld all things considered, I'm well in such a short amount, it should be okay. But um, So I've just got them sat in there at the moment. I don't think they're stainless bolts, but there wasn't much activity happening in there. So I'm, I'm going to leave it for another 20 minutes and see what happens. But um, the All I need to do realistically is weld this on and then make up my, make up my cables to the plug set. I, having not done this before, I don't think it's too difficult, it's literally just a case of making sure that they're connected to the right cables, um, but we shall see. And then I've got some nice uh, bulbs to go on the top, like uh, filaments, but they're LEDs, so they look like they're, they're, they're partially lit, they're not, they're not full bright lights, I don't know if you see the vintage lights, like you've got, you've got in this picture here, you can see, um, 
you, you kind of don't have to fully light the lights up to uh, to make it look cool. So these should be cool little bedside projects, bedside tables. I just thought I'd throw in a little video just because there was a way to do it and hopefully it might help someone. Okay, one thing I wanted to do is when you see these online, they don't actually a lot of places hide the cable, and I think what they do is they take a picture with this little bit at the back then the cable hangs down the back and you don't actually see it because I, for the life of me, can't fathom how people would this is solid, solid cast, I think it's cast uh, it's, uh, it's all, I don't, I don't see why A, the people that make these, I don't think they would do that I don't get the impression that they're able to bore a hole all the way through I don't know how you would do it, if you did it on lathe you would have to centre it on uh, a part that you'd have to get the chuck on the bit that wasn't got a lobe on it so I, I don't know, I, th I thought about how people were going to do it and then I thought I actually don't care I, it's it's a shitty little <laughs> couple of lamps that I'm pulling together so if anyone's got any ideas how you would do that then let me know because I'm all ears but um, that's why I've got this side exit, side entry thing on uh, just to allow the cable to come up the side at the back and I'll just I'll pull the cable tight so you don't see it, but you'll always be a point where you do see it if you turn and look, but don't really care. So I'm going to get these little threads welded in. Um, they're bolts at the moment, so I'm just going to cut the head off the bolt. Um, once the head of the bolt's cut off, I'm just going to weld it in with some... Uh, I'll see how it goes. One thing I'll have to consider is how much thread I put in, just to make sure that actually looks nice and the thread doesn't come up and doesn't allow me to get my cable in. But let's go, let's go, let's go do it! Ah, just kidding, it's fine. <laughs> you can see the coating starting to come off, but uh, I don't care. Let's just go for it. I'm just looking to see how best to fit this, so obviously it's going to be quite difficult to hold it and try and get a decent weld. Um, but there is a little bit on this side where I might be able to shoehorn some weld in there just to hold it in place. Then I'll be able to get down and tack the whole lot in. We'll give that a try. Clean this up first. Okay, now to fill the whole lot with wells. So I left the second one a little bit longer and it does, um, it just strips the zinc coating off. So I was right, I just was impatient with the other one. Okay, this one's a bit, might be a bit easier because it can sit in situ. You don't need to hold it or anything. Um, so I'll just put it in like that. Make sure it's level and straight, not like the other one. Let's go for it and see what we can do. Oh, for God's sake. Come on, that's moved. What the fuck? Look at that! Pish! Okay, luckily, so that looked horrific. That was all bent, so I shoved it in the vise and muscled it out. But, um, so I'm gonna try it again. And just try and keep it as stable as I can. Uh, unsure, maybe the heat caused it to pull out a line as well, but, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try again. Maybe put the amperage up a little bit. Uh, because it is two quite thick bits of metal, so 
We're gonna, we've got one, luckily, well you can see in here, this final one's just chilling away, so I'm gonna cut the end off that, and then, um, yeah, see how we get on. I'm actually just gonna leave the end on, because of this, it was difficult to get a hold of these uh, M10 by ones you can see it's quite a fine thread, but uh, if you look here, I'm just gonna, it, because it sits, nicely. I'll cut the end off afterwards because this actually doesn't need much thread at all to allow it to, to sit flush with this bit so um, I'll put it in the vise afterward and, and cut that bit off but it might, should hopefully allow me a little bit more maneuverability to try and keep it straight and stop it from moving so. Despite my welding mask trying to blind me halfway through that that's fine. Um, is it straight? Probably is. I just fusion welded it together. I think there's still some shit on the uh, the bolt itself. I think it's pretty straight. So I'm just gonna shove that in the wire wheel. I don't really think I need to go all the way around. I probably risk damaging the thread a little bit more. So um, I'm gonna cut this off and then we'll get this threaded off on. So I probably need to cut it about ah. Put to self and touch. Yeah, I need to cut it pretty shy, pretty, probably need to cut it a bit there. It's all right, it's pretty straight. This abomination on the other hand, because it must have moved uh, when I was trying to weld it. You can't really see it here, but when I put this on, look at the state of that, shit. I can't deal with that. Which means I have two options, either accept that I'm a moron that doesn't know how to do things, <laughs> which is a high chance of, or I cut the end off because I think I can cut this off. Sorry for the autofocus. I think I could cut this off, possibly, um, and then just weld another bit in. Let's do it. Right, ready for round two. Try not to mess it up. We've got a nice new shiny flush end. We have our new bolt. So we're gonna try that again. See if we can just make it make it nice and level. Um unsure why it came out so far last time, so I'm gonna do what I did for the other one and, and put it in here instead. Hopefully give myself a little bit more control. Um Okay, I couldn't have coped if those had stayed. I know one's shorter than the other and everything else, but that's straight now. Much better. Okay, now I just need to wire these up um, and find my bulbs. Too good lord, it's dark. 
There's a little dog running around. Um, now I just need to wire them up and then we'll be able to put them in the bedroom and bring the bulbs and turn them on. Woohoo! Okay, so next is to fit thread these cables. Um, thread the cable up through. Like so. I think maybe I have to loosen a little grub screw you have to loosen. Okay, here's moments of truth. We've got our LED bulb. Thankfully the, the switch is external, so if I have wired it up wrong and I do look like I'm gonna kill myself. Ooh. Moment of truth. Ta-da! Look at that. Ta-da! So... <laughs> nah, they're not. They're fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, these were a fun little project. They didn't take too long to make. The fiddliest bit was getting this thread right to try and get them even. But I'm so glad I have because they're sitting nice and vertical now. Um, which would have pissed me off no end if I had I not cut that little bit off, so. Um, yeah, uh, any tips for anyone doing this? Um, just get your, having the CK, the FUPA torch um, with a long stick out allowed me to get in nicely to the bit to weld the bolt, um, so that was good. Um, the bulbs, hello Rufus. Didn't even, I didn't even call them up here. You like your new lights? Um, yeah, they're pretty straightforward. Weld, weld, lamp kit, uh, LED bulbs. It should be nice for the bedside table. The one we've got are god awful at the moment, so it should be a nice change. I'm not gonna put uh, lampshades on that because I'm not an eight year old woman, so I think I, I'll just go with it as it is. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Try it yourself, give me a shout if you, if you need any hints. Um, uh, next project I have, I'll go back to motorbikes in a bit, I promise, but next project I have a nice uh, uh, crankshaft from that engine too. So, oh, oh my good lord. So we'll see what we can do with that crankshaft. I'm thinking maybe a stool or like a, a shop stool, uh, if I can get a threaded rod in deep enough to allow me to get enough variation for for a stool that I can weld, I can set my welding table and I can use my little um, scooty around stool for um, uh, the, the rest of the workshop then then that will be grand but um, yeah just a quick little video just something else, something a little bit different so hopefully you enjoyed it um, yeah. stay tuned for the next video on Panther that will be in a week's time or so um, if you like what you saw please like and subscribe and I shall catch you in the next video folks take it easy <laughs>